My name is Ujwal. I'm a cultural anthropologist and the co-founder and CEO of MotiveBase. Here's a quick demo of our trends platform. Basically, as long as people talk about something, we can search it. So here I'm doing a simple search for a broader topic or a broader trend uh, of natural products. As I run the search, the system instantly runs a big data observational ethnography on the topic of natural products. And it immediately decodes and quantifies the most dominant meanings that people, consumers, inadvertently associate with the topic of natural products. Without going into too much detail, we can straight away see what's in the consumer's mental model when we talk about natural products. Uh, issues around parabens, obviously this is referring to paraben free, need for organic ingredients, avoiding synthetic chemicals, uh, avoiding preservatives and so on and so forth. Now, the, because our system has this thing called contextual intelligence, it maps the broader context of discussions happening in consumer culture around natural products. It's also able to then decode and quantify this culture. So for example, it can tell me that the culture of natural products is relevant to 23, 24 million American consumers right now. It's quite small, but it's growing by about 32% and it's growing by 32% in the next 12 to 24 months. It also tells me how mature the consumer's understanding is of the topic of natural products. In essence, uh, the more mature a topic is, basically what it means is the more consistent the meanings are around that topic. So as the meanings around a topic start to converge toward one another, the more mature that topic be becomes. Uh, and obviously the opposite is true in, in the case of immaturity. The reason we measure maturity is because we have discovered that there's a sweet spot when something falls between 33 and 55% in maturity, it's actually ripe for innovation. Just enough people are in agreement about the purpose of natural products in their lives that we can do something in that space knowing that it's not gonna be volatile, knowing that it's gonna offer us sustained consistent growth and yet enough room for innovation. Uh, and honestly, the technology does so much more, I really don't have enough time to cover all of it, but it gives me detailed sociodemographics, uh, indexes it against national averages. So for example, this one over indexes on the middle class and the educated middle class. And then of course, gives me the detailed ethnography. So it's, it's the AI anthropologist decoding the, the meanings that consumers associate around natural products to tell us what the intrinsic motivations, attitudes, fears, and values are. So for example, we can see that this is about wanting to live responsibly, make a difference, have a healthy self-image. These are people who care about natural unaltered products. Uh, they don't have the greatest faith in corporations doing the right thing, especially when it comes to animal welfare. They value morality and self-confidence and youthfulness and so on and so forth. And the technology does so much more. I'm barely scraping the surface, but this is a quick five minute demo to give you a sense of the power of what the technology is and what it does.